settledness is a superpower and it is going to be really important for you to hone and develop the skill of settledness. Now, it's important to name that our culture does not really want us to be settled. It does not benefit from us being settled. And so this practice of becoming more settled is usually a hard one because everything's stacked against us. But your ability to become more settled in your body is going to dictate how you identify the parts of yourself, the parts of your life that aren't serving you, that aren't filling you. It's going to allow you to identify what you want, how you want to be touched, what you want to eat, how you want to spend your time, where you want to put your body. All of these questions are so important, navigating a path of pleasure. But if we're not settled, we are not going to know the answer. We're going to be in our minds. Our minds are super helpful at creating the things, making sure our desires are manifest into reality. But our minds are not very helpful at identifying what we want. We have to be settled in our body. We have to feel the vibration of that desire in our bodies. And if we're always in our minds, if we're always relying on our minds, if we're always doing pro-con lists and gaming it out, it's not going to work. But if you can be settled in your body, if you can notice what you want to feel, what you want to taste, what you want to hear, what you want to see and how you want to do all of these things, if you can feel it in your body, then your mind can come in and help you create it. They go together. You can't have one without the other, but we've come to rely on our minds too much. And it's brought us into a state of complete disembodiment, of complete unsettledness. And that is not helpful for anyone. It's not going to help you know what you want, and it's not going to help you know what you don't want. But the fact of the matter is, you are already feeling your body. You already know how many times have you been in the situation where you had that gut feeling, where you knew it was time to walk away from that space or that person, but your mind convinced you otherwise. Your mind told you it would be okay. Your mind told you you're overreacting. Your mind told you it's only going to be an hour. And so you stayed, and it was miserable. And you knew. You knew ahead of time. Your body knew. The wisdom of the body is so sacred and so deep but we've removed ourselves from it. And so this work, in large part, is about coming back into the body. There's many ways that I help clients do that. There's many ways that you have to do it on your own, that you can do it on your own. Creating a mindfulness practice, which is separate from a meditation practice, but a meditation practice is going to be very central to this. I think meditation is probably the most powerful thing we can do. If we're going to do one thing in our days for ourselves, I think meditation is almost always going to be the best option. And there's a lot more. There's a lot more we can do with intention for our senses, intention, bringing intention into our touch, our sight, our taste, our smells, what we hear. The more and more intention and awareness we can bring to our bodies, the more settled we will become. And that will empower us to say no to the things we don't want and to ask for the things that we do. And that practice is where we can navigate this path of pleasure with a lot more ease. If this is interesting to you. I hope you'll hit follow, leave a comment, tell me what you think. My name's Adam B. I'm a sacred intimate and intuitive coach based in New York. And I look forward to hearing from you.